As you know, I'm Tyson the Genius, and today we are going to be talking about dependency management. Now, dependency management is something we've actually been using for the past three tutorials in tutorial three and four. So, it's a concept you just need to know, and this will be a very brief tutorial. Before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel so that you kind of encourage me to continue making these lessons, and also you get notified when I make new lessons. And also, if you have some questions or comments or some challenges on programming, let me know by leaving a comment below. So just subscribe by clicking on the red button below. So dependency management is a concept that is very important for you to know uh, in Spring Boot, uh, Spring Boot or working with some other applications. It's not the same as dependency injection. Now, this is my website where I explain it and say that Dependency management is a mechanism for centralizing dependency information. So basically, when you are working with a new application, this application actually have uh, libraries that it needs to work with. For instance, you want to connect to a database. The, the library that enables you to connect to a database uh, have to be added to your project class path. Or you want to maybe um, perform some other action, maybe you want to to do some uh, some other, uh, like maybe displaying data on a user interface. So you may have libraries to be able to do that. So all these libraries, there are actually so many of them. You need to manage them in a centralized fashion. So that is what dependency management is all about, theoretically. Let's now go to practically to see exactly how dependency management works. So this is where we stopped in our previous uh, tutorial. Now, let's first go to the pom.xml. Pom.xml means uh, project object uh, project project object module. Yeah, pom. I think that is the correct name. I can't remember exactly. So remember that when we wanted to work with. Um, MVC, for instance, you wanted to use a REST controller, wanted to be able to call or assess our method from the browser, from HTTP browser, we needed to add these dependencies. For instance, uh, Spring Web MVC, we added it. We also have Spring Boot Data Web. All right, so these are actually dependencies, and in your pom.xml, you can see that there are uh, they are inside the dependencies, like dependencies uh, section. Now, when you want to start an application and you say new, for instance, you say new and you choose new, you see a number of things and we have, you can use a Spring Startup Project. You can also use other ones. So for instance, if you are using Spring Startup Project, which is what we actually did, there are some dependencies that are added for you. So let's take, for instance, in our application, if you go to this place, you can see uh, Maven dependencies. These dependencies were added for us. So if you open it, you can see that there are a whole lot of jar files that are in there, right? So there are a whole lot of them that have been added for you. But you can actually add these files yourself. You can download these files one by one and actually load them up into your project. For instance, if you go to build part, let me just show you that you can add these files uh, e easily. Not easily, but you can add them if you want. So you can actually say add external jars and choose wherever your jar files is. For instance, we have some jar files here that are inside the Apache Tomcat. You can add them yourself. Let's see, we actually don't need to do this because we have a dependency management tool, Maven, to help us get the external files we need. So for us to add these external files, what we simply do is to go to Maven repository and find the dependency we need. For instance, let's assume we want to connect to a database. So we can actually go to... Maven repository, Maven central repository, that is the name. And now if you want a dependency to enable you connect to a database, maybe Tomcat or any other one. So you can see 
uh, different types of uh, dependency you uh, uh, tomcat dependency so if you want to use any of them just open it and choose the version and you simply copy it and go to your dependencies section in your pom.xml and you can easily add it there and it's there but one thing you might also ask me is that all these dependencies are maybe have added here why are they not showing up in the pom.xml because all these are these are dependencies let's take for instance we have we have spring boot starter let's forget about the version on the release spring boot starter okay that, that one is there you can see in here let's look at another one spring boot well, this one is just spring boot so here you don't see anything like that okay fine you see log back core it's not there so where, where are all these coming from why are they not in the pom.xml first i'll first tell you that pom.xml is the project object model that helps you add dependencies yourself outside that we also have that these dependencies somehow they are inside this pom.xml how now i want you to scroll up and then look at this section that says parent uh, slash parent now when you have uh, built a new application in Spring Boot it inherits from a parent application and what it means is that this parent application already have uh, libraries or dependencies added to this parent of uh, this parent project and what it means is that our application is inheriting from this parent and it means that all the dependencies that have been specified in this parent are, are loaded into our project automatically immediately we start so in that way we don't need to list all of them uh, one by one in this uh, XML because we already have it specified in this parent in this parent slash parent tag so that is one way uh, dependency is managed. So as I mentioned before, this is a concept you need to know. And it's something you also might encounter in quiz or, and things like that. So that is basically how it works. And also take some time to read my website. There's a simple explanation of what dependency management is all about, what dependencies are all about. And also I talked about the Maven Central Repository. I would like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed. And also uh, leave a comment to let me know if this has been informative for you. Thank you.